In our next example, we're going to look at if it, at the situation where a quadratic equation has only one solution. If the quadratic equation has only one solution, we are guaranteed by the conjugate root theorem that that one solution would have to be real. So in this case, we're going to go with the one real solution of three-fourths. And also, if that's the case, then when we go to write our two factors, we know that those two factors that will make up the quadratic must be repeated factors. So our two factors are going to be x minus 3 fourths equals 0, and then the same equation again. We'll, do, we'll engage a skill similar to, on our similar to our last example, where we multiply everything by a common denominator to clear out the fractions. On the left, we get 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. On the right, we get 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. If you did not engage that step, that step does not mean that you did not write a quadratic equation effectively. You could skip that step, jump right to the multiplication, multiply out a polynomial that will have rational coefficients in it. You're allowed to do that. But for the purposes of ease in multiplication, and because, again, we are only looking for a quadratic equation that has these solutions, we try to keep it integer coefficients for the sake of simplicity. Multiplying this out to create our quadratic, we get 16x squared minus 24x plus 9 is equal to 0. And again, what we saw in the last example holds true here. We would have normally started here and worked that direction. We would have started with a factorable polynomial. We would have factored it into factors of 4x minus 3 and 4x minus 3. This is a perfect square trinomial right here. That's what allows us to have the repeated factor. The repeated factor gives us the solution of 3 fourths in both of them. It doesn't change the work that we saw in the last example when the root is repeated. We know that if it's repeated, it has to be real. But we also know that if it's repeated, that the factor that created that solution is also repeated. So we use it twice to work down and create our quadratic equation.